have to be kidding. You know, this might be one of the few situations where a sentiment like there's nowhere to go but up from here is sort of an unsettling one when you think about it. I mean, the higher we go up, the farther we're going to be falling here. <laughs> All right, let's swing across here and gain some momentum. And I mean, it's like, if you don't think it's easy to slip on you know, moss, how about swinging from a vine onto a tiny little like indent on a wall? <laughs> All right, all right. The classic wall climbing etiquette, right? Eyes ahead, don't look down. <laughs> all right, hop down here. It is very cool to see though, especially like, I don't know, there's something really appealing to the eye with this wall and this fortress. It does look really, really darn cool. Come on, come on, we're running out of time. Oh geez, and get on through. Thank God. Oh man, <laughs> that could have turned out pretty darn bad. Um, ooh, it's dark and is there, oh, wow, okay, I was about to ask, is there even anybody in here? Well, I don't think these boxes came from nowhere. Whoa, oh, and pots, beat up the pots. Will they have rupees in them? <laughs> I guess they won't have rupees in them. Oh well, um, where are we going now? Back out a window? You bet. <laughs> oh, you can't be serious. Nope. Oh, no, wasn't I just out here? Yep, <laughs> deja vu, right? All right, swing and jump, swing and jump. That's where it can be faster. I mean, it can be easier when you do it faster. All right, um, hop down. Nope, down. And then, oh, down. And then ready, set, big jump, big jump. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Misleading jumps. Who? Oh. Okay, almost there. Run, 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 jump. Yeah, that was a good one, Drake. <laughs> Jeez, that was crazy. <laughs> okay, come up here. Come on, come on. I can do it. We're, I, I have a good feeling we're almost there. Ooh. And yeah, there you go. So. Can we, it looks like we gotta go down, well, but, wait a minute, what? All right. All right, it'll hold you. Oh no! Oh, there's no, that would break your butt. Jeez, that was quite the bet that that didn't hurt. Whoa, look at the sun. Oh, that is beautiful. A little blinding, but also beautiful. Ooh, I see some weapons. Whoa, and a new one, the micro nine, micro nine millimeter, which is actually pretty cool. It is a nice one. I do prefer the normal pistol over it, but we'll use it for, you know, new weapons sake here. Um, like this guy, ready? Bop. <laughs> Bop. And this is once again, when I have a gripe with the AK-47 I do have with this gun, is that it just doesn't feel like a gun. It feels like an airsoft toy gun, because it has like no recoil. It feels like you're shooting something that's made out of plastic. And this is something that is completely fixed in Uncharted 2 and 3. And maybe I notice it more because of how good Uncharted 2 and 3's gunplay was. Not to say that the gunplay's bad, it's just mediocre. And I don't really like, like in such a game, good game series, when there's something that's just simply mediocre, it really stands out, unfortunately. It's like an odd thumb kind of thing. Hmm. All right, we got this guy over here. I'm gonna shoot you up. Oh, a little bit more. See, this is where it would be easier to have the pistol, because it's like this slightly long range is just awkward for the AK and the micro. And we have to get up there. I don't see how we're gonna, to, gonna with all these guys just being jerks. Uh, excuse me, sir. What do you even shoot? You were just spraying a brand. <laughs> You didn't even look at what you were, you could have shot your own dudes. Um, here we go, pick up this AK. Um, and then we should be good. We're just gonna go up here, and we're gonna take him out the uh, good old fashioned way. Hip shooting! <laughs> Hip shooting has always been an interesting thing in Uncharted games. I just never really use it as much as I think the game expects me to. And that should be everybody. It looks like it, which will be good, because obviously, big open area with a lot of nook and crannies to search through. Of course there's gonna be some treasures, and our first one is right over here, and boy, is it a cool one. It is right in this corner. It is this strange relic. Now, you can find a strange relic in each of the Uncharted games, and as you can see, it is a precursor orb from Jack and Daxter. Yet another Jack and Daxter reference. You'll find a precursor orb, like I said, throughout all three of the games, and I love that. It's probably one of my favorite things about the Uncharted games. So very cool, but our second treasure should be around here pretty darn soon. It should be in one of these little uh, house things here. So let's look for that and ooh, get ourselves some moss, which I will enjoy a bit better than the AK right now, I won't deny. I think it's this one coming up. <laughs> I know it's a little out of the way, Um, or maybe I'm wrong. Can I even get over there? Huh, oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> it's a little awkward, but uh, hmm. And it should be in here, yep, there it is. And we also get the Silver Jaguar. We got the Golden Jaguar earlier. It's basically the same thing, just a different color. And nice view. I mean, it's sort of, you can sort of see the repeating water. Besides that, the nice sunset. It sets a really good mood for being shot at by bad guys. Now we're not quite done 
with the treasures in this area, we can hop down right over here, and hopefully no bad guys will show up to beat us up in the meantime, but we can sneak into this area. It's a little awkward to get into, and almost seems like you can't, but you can and get yourself a gold mosaic Inca earring. I don't know what's with these earrings. They really like those, and they like leaving them around. <laughs> You'd think it'd make the, your earrings easier to find after a few centuries, uh-oh. Let's do a bit of that. I don't know if you guys saw those guys up there. Wait, did he not throw the grenade? There we go. Ooh, boom, okay. Oh no, did that not really get either of them? I might've got that one, dude. I'm not sure, let's find out. Go up here, we did get one of them. That is actually pretty darn awesome, though. But you might see there, uh-oh. That is a crazy gun, I don't know what he's shooting. Um, whoa, okay. Uh, take care of this dude. There you go, whoa, I exploded something there. Hello, there are a lot of guys here, this is a ton. All right, um, give me back the moss. I think I'm gonna need that in this situation. Um. And then we're gonna reload this. We could do that while undercover, don't worry. Uh, where are you? You're up here. All right, well now you're not. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Um, I might actually turn into the AK here. Um, oh geez, it's a machine gun, and we don't have any more grenades, so ouch, that was a dumb idea. <laughs> I was hoping I could have been fast enough. All right, now I've somehow made my way over here. Let's explode this. That'll somehow take him out. That was actually an oddly huge blast radius, and I don't think that took him out. That sort of knocked him back, though. Uh, now I don't have a gun that'll reach him, though. Oh, oh, no, it did. Okay, cool. So now, lastly, we have this jerk over here. I will be able to take him out, I think, just like that. And then grab, ooh, finally. I missed you. I missed you so much. <laughs> All right, so that's about everything here. Good stuff, good stuff. And we actually don't have any more treasures to find. It looks like, it looks super suspicious. Like, how can there not be a treasure over here? But they're actually, oh, geez, that scared me. <laughs> there is actually none. Uh, oddly enough, there's only four treasures, so we found three out of the four, and we're not finding the fourth one for a little bit of time, so we can take a little bit of a breath. So, hmm, where are we supposed to be going here? This is where I've sort of gotten lost a few times. I'm like, wait, where am I supposed to go? And I think it's actually somewhere around here. But it is good to get a little lost, so you can make sure you get all the dudes, make sure that none of them are sneaking up on you, because that's never fun in this game. And actually, maybe I am lost. <laughs> Well, if one thing's for certain, it's fun to run around. Oh, here's where the parachute is. Ah, here we go. No sign of her. It's either very good or very bad. Let's hope she's okay. Do we want to climb up there? Check out for any details? Come on. Come on. And then go up here. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, what is going on? Um, oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good job, Drake. I just wanted to do what I think would be really cool, let's go! Oh geez, if you just like flinched the wrong way, there goes like your thumb. Hi! Lena, what the hell is she doing? I don't know, but she's about to get in trouble. Hello? Hello? Buca Pintu! Si apellini, dicha se cara. Si alano, chepatan, Buca Pintu! Ah, dai! <laughs> it worked. Uh oh, busted. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we got to make our way out of here before they catch up with us. Let's bust out of here already. Boom, karate kick. Bringing up your inner Jackie Chan, I guess. All right, take care of that guy. Oh, ready, ready. Hey, these cans came back. How convenient. That makes so much sense. Um, looks like there's another dude over here. I shot that when he was a little too far away, but still, not a big issue. So now I can just hop on down. Um, or maybe it was just a dumb idea. Nope, okay, I survived, yay! That was awesome, so now we can actually make our way in and let the door wide open for us. Then we know that Elena is alive for now, which is also good, very good. What do we got going on in here? Hmm, whoa, won't be in shot at. Uh, what is going on with this? Oh, I guess I just sort of have a uh, little sewer <laughs> to my advantage here. Um, there's some guy shooting at me, ow. Don't do that, shooting people is rude. Like, do, don't do this, oh no, it's about to shoot the, oh, come on. <laughs> don't do this at home, kids. There you go. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Uh, let's uh, cli try to climb across this right now. Uh, whoop, whoop, ew, there you go, cool stuff. So there should be a room around here. Um, Can you get up, please, Drake? There you go. 
I think this one. Oh, look at this guy. Sneak attack, sneak attack. Oh, nice stuff. You don't really get too many sneak attack opportunities in this game compared to the other Uncharted. So it's always fun to take that opportunity. And we should find ourselves a treasure somewhere around here. Let's first pick up some grenades. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are, I found you, I found you, and this is our fourth treasure and final treasure of this chapter, the golden spoon. Who wouldn't want to eat with a golden spoon? You know, it's like that, you just feel like royalty whenever you have your Captain Crunch. <laughs> All right, let's hop down, and then make her quay across this really gross and stinky sewer, or something like this. Um, And what is up here? More weapons. Uh, looks like we're actually full of ammo, and oh my. It's what they call the blue room. This place could use a good plumber. Son of a bitch, where did they all come from? Exactly. This is why this room is actually pretty notorious. Um, now it isn't too bad here in this difficulty setting, but basically enemies attack you from all sides. And in hard mode, or crushing mode, Crushing mode is actually a little bit harder than hard mode. Crushing mode is basically real life. If you get shot once or twice, you're basically down. And I'm here on normal mode getting torn up. All right, so the smartest way to really approach this is to find one waypoint and then just to take out the guys threatening your waypoint. So if anybody pops up behind me or from like over here, I'll take those guys out first and then just use my gained advantage against the other guys. So I'm gonna take you out really quick. The grenade's gonna explode the rest of you though. If this guy could pop out in the right direction, that'd be great, there you go. And then you too, ready? But yeah, when this game is on the harder difficulties and you're trying to get the 100% achievements to defeat this on crushing, this is when this room gives you some major troubles. It is notorious for being incredibly difficult. So, oh geez, like look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at both of these guys. We're gonna hip shot them now. Perfect opportunity right there and take you out too. Good stuff. Um, No, go back under cover. I always think that it's gonna be like triangle or square. And, to reload, but it never is. Oh, look at this guy. And it's just, they always show up like in these weird spots. And it's like, there's never one safe spot in this room. I'm actually about to be taken out here because they have shotguns and that is pleasant, really pleasant. There you go, took out both of these stinkers. Hopefully that'll make this a little bit easier. I actually think that is actually it. <laughs> For real this time, no more. That's beautiful, we took out the blue room. And you can see how that could be a real pain in the harder difficulties. Now we gotta find our way up. Not entirely sure how. I'm sure there's some type of ledge somewhere around here though that we can climb up some type of ridge or something. Hmm. I mean, we could do a bit of that maybe? Yes, we can. All right, then that's probably what we needed to do. So now we can just simply climb over on this side and then jump on across. Yep, just like that. And then tap away with this. Come on, come on. You can do it little bits, little bits. Oh, you got it. And yeah, good job, Drake, good job. And what is going on over here? Uh, more water, more stinky, gross water. <laughs> How are we getting up this thing? Um, Looks like we got some ledges to our advantage here. Let's take you and you. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff, right? <laughs> Very exhilarating. It's always funny that you'll have these moments of peace and recollection right after the extremely, uh you know, intense parts. It's, it's always been that way in a chart, and I sort of think it's, you know, it's fun pacing, interesting for sure. So it looks like we need to raise the water levels to actually get to that ledge, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. All right, come on, come on. I'm gonna keep tapping that button. <laughs> Working real hard here. Did it, did it work? I think, yeah, there it goes. All right, so let's try number two. Now that the water level is raised a bit more, we can make our way up the second part. So yeah, let's do this. Um. Ooh. Ooh, and then, there you go. And now just the same thing. Luckily, there's only two of these. I wouldn't want to do this several times. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Like, I'm consistently tapping, but for some reason, that's just not good enough for the game. Really? Ugh, 